Oh, baloney. The whole thing always gets back to drugs. Hello, my name is Sandra Grasse and I'm a licensed acupuncturist. Welcome to another one of the special video blog posts. So, after a very, very successful Acupuncture Awareness Week here in Ireland organised by the AFPA and in the UK organised by the British Acupuncture Council, we got an email from Matthew Bauer from the Acupuncture Now Foundation, who you've seen on previous videos that we released here. And that email contained a link to a clip from the movie Getting to the Point. So you remember from previous videos here that we talked about the crowdfunding campaign that was going on for the Acupuncture Now Foundation. And that's still ongoing at the moment. And the good thing now is that we're getting to see some of the results from the funding that has been already put in towards the, uh, towards the recording and towards the filming. So I am going to leave that link up here that you can click and you can see that, um, that, that video that the Acupuncture Now Foundation put out. And I'm also going to leave the link down here that you can then just save and go to the, uh, the CrowdRise campaign that they have still ongoing. So please help, share the video with friends, other colleagues, um, really like we say this to every other video, but this time please do share. We have almost 4,000 views on the, um, for the YouTube channel, which is absolutely amazing. And thank you, thank you so, so much for, to everyone that supported us, all our subscribers. Thank you very much. Spread the word, pass it on. And particularly with this one, if you're interested in acupuncture and spreading the word, the, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this video to check out the uh, last, the third part of the interview with Matthew Bauer that we did just towards the end of last year. So you've seen the previous two uh, parts of that interview and now I'm going to finally release the one where we talk about the movie itself. So we get to talk about the director, we get to talk about the director's previous um, movie which was the documentary uh, 9000 Needles which you can also go to the Acupuncture Now Foundation's website and you can click on the link that they have there and by paying to, uh, I think it's $10 that you pay to watch the, the documentary and that money goes towards the, the fundraiser as well. So please spread the word, go to the Acupuncture Now Foundation's website and I will pass it on to the uh, split screen and let's hear what Matthew Bauer, the president of the Acupuncture Now Foundation, has to say about the amazing movie and um, getting to the point. Well, thank you. And, and, you know, and again, I have to thank you. I mean, you, you, Sandro, and, and the, uh, you know, the uh, our, our own Acupuncture uh, Foundation and everything has been one of our greatest supporters and we really appreciate it. Um, but yes, it's, it's always been my dream to produce a feature-length documentary that captures the truth of what really is the potential of acupuncture. And um, there was a movie made, oh, probably seven, eight years ago called 9,000 Needles. And it was a, a, a very unique film because it was a, 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 a guy that works in the entertainment industry, has a production company and does documentaries and does he's done a feature length film and does music videos and things like that his younger brother in his 40s had a very serious brainstem type of stroke um, and nearly killed him and and ended up uh, in the hospital and then his insurance ran out and he was back home and starting to really go backwards and so his older brother was trying to figure out anything he could do for him to help him and learned about acupuncture and stroke recovery and learned about a hospital in China that had a, a, a big program for doing this and decided to take, try to talk his brother into letting him take him there to China and also decided to make a documentary out of it. So 9,000 Needles is a really powerful film because it shows a real story happening in real time of somebody who's not, would not have really been supportive of acupuncture even going to China and getting, you know, excellent care there. So it shows acupuncture in a quite positive light. And when I learned of that film, I contacted the director, Doug Durth, and said, you know, let me help you promote this in the acupuncture community. But, you know, let's talk about doing a, a real feature link documentary on acupuncture itself. And we've talked about it on and off over the years. And 
one of the strategies that, that was behind the Acupuncture Now Foundation was to make connections with acupuncturists and acupuncture organizations all over the really the Western world. Uh, and so we that's a lot of what we've been doing these past two years. We've we've signed memorandums of understanding with several different acupuncture organizations, including the Acupuncture Foundation. Professional Association. Profession. Yeah, 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 we had, we had it on, online, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then the European Union or organization the, uh, uh, yeah. and uh, uh, in, uh, Canadian uh, Association and in New Zealand. Um, and we work very closely with the, uh, the new kind of emerging U.S. national organization, a couple of them. So we have now developed a, a, a network of, of being able to, to connect with and communicate with acupuncturists over several, several different countries. And so in getting to the point, what we want to show is how acupuncture is being used in mainstream institutions already like different hospitals how it's mm -hmm. it's already made significant inroads into these institutions and because when we do that when we show people real people with real problems being helped by real acupuncturists in real institutions um it, it, it will blow people's minds because most people if they think of acupuncture it's just some kind of fringe thing that some yeah you know, weird people practice. But like, for example, one of, one of the stories we want to tell is of, of uh, an acupuncturist that works at a children's hospital here in Southern California, a very top rated children's hospital, by the way. Uh, and she's been there for 13 years. And she got into that hospital because she had an office near the hospital and parents of these children started to come to her and some of them with cancer you know children with cancer and serious illnesses and they started having you know so much improvement uh, with better quality of life pain control and everything that their doctors noticed their oncologists noticed and asked the parents what are what are you doing with the kids and they told her well she's seeing this acupuncturist so that the doctors reach out to her mm -hmm. and you know got to know her and and eventually she got invited in to work in the hospital. And so when you see a, a highly professional acupuncturist like that, mm. you know, working integrated into the hospital staff and doing a, a beautiful job of, of approaching the, the children, the parents of the children and saying, you know, I'm here to use Chinese medicine, you know, on your, on your child. And the rapport that she has with the kids um, and you see these children getting needles put in them and they don't even know they're having needles put in them. Yeah. Well, you know, that has always been one of my top priorities in any kind of film on acupuncture to, it checks off so many boxes mm. to show it. That's, that will be the most convincing thing again, that acupuncture doesn't hurt. But when they see a real documentary of real people, not staged or anything yeah. like that, but when they see children and even you know ill children getting needles popped in them, and and you know and they're talking and laughing and they don't even know you know uh, that that will do more to bring down the barrier of misunderstanding about that acupuncture must hurt, hmm. and and when you see that when people see that the hospital administrators that are, you know, have a, a very heavy responsibility to maintain professionalism and make sure they're not doing anything liability wise that could get them in trouble. When you see that they have vetted, you know, an acupuncturist or acupuncturist to be in the hospital to treat these vulnerable patients and that it's working out, you know, that, that is going to show that acupuncturists are highly professional that they're doing important work on vulnerable people and that uh, they can work in with it, these mainstream institutions uh, for, 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 you know, it's a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. So those types of images are, are going to do more to help us bring down what I call the barriers of misunderstanding about acupuncture than anything else we could do. I mean, I want us to 
to do other things. I do want us to have print media and online media, and I want us to have a multi-pronged approach to uh, how we try to get this messaging out. But film is such a powerful, powerful medium, and, and we are going to show acupuncture and acupuncturists doing incredibly profound work. I mean, you know, uh, organizations like, and I know there's more than one of them, but acupuncturists without borders, you know, treating uh, disaster victims and the caregivers that, that treat them, showing these people who are volunteering to travel in these very difficult conditions to treat these people with this therapy uh, that nobody really understands and, and how they, when they're given a chance, how they become embraced in these communities and that they train people to do the treatment themselves, the locals and everything. This is incredibly powerful stuff. I mean, I, of course, I always dream big, but honestly, I, I think we have even the potential for an Academy Award nomination or something. I mean, we've got a powerful story to tell about acupuncture. And uh, I think people will absolutely be amazed when they see all that's being done. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the, the thing that I'm so excited about is that we have a really highly skilled filmmaker in Doug Durth. I mean, he is, he is a pro. I mean, and we've talked a lot about this. And when I see his wheels turning as he's thinking of how, to, you know, how we can do this, I, I can't even tell you how, how, what that means to me, to, to have somebody like that who is really you know, putting on his thinking cap and saying, how can we make this be as powerful as possible? Well, yeah. and, and that we can do this for for around two hundred thousand dollars U.S., I mean, it's it's almost unthinkable mm -hmm. that we could put out a, a, a quality film of this high a caliber and quality uh, for for that kind of budget. And um, and uh, so that's what we have to get there. We you know what what we're 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 going to figure out a way to make this movie one way or the other. But by far the best way to do it is. If we could get the uh, the biggest, you know, a good chunk of the money up front, mm -hmm. then then Doug and his production company will be able to block out time and say, okay, for these months, this is our number one priority project, mm -hmm. and we will go around the world to different, uh, uh, you know, clinics, different hospitals, different communities, showing how acupuncture is spreading all over the Western world. Yeah. And another part of this, though, uh, is it's, it's, I mean, producing this film by itself will be one of the greatest accomplishments that's happened in acupuncture, I believe, in decades. But there's so much more to it because, as I mentioned about building these networks of, 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 of uh, practitioners from around the world, um, that, that is going to help us to, to get a distribution uh you know uh for this film mm -hmm. when the film is in near a complete form after filming then goes to post production and editing and we're putting it all together once we have a, a rough cut of the film then doug who knows this business will start to take it to major distributors um places like netflix and uh you know different cable places mm -hmm. uh theater groups, things like that. We will take it to these venues, and when we can demonstrate to them that this film has been funded with donations from practitioners from all these different countries, that, that we have this vast network of people in all these different countries that are uh, a part of this effort and that are waiting for the film to be released so that they can then spread it to their networks and their networks networks. Yeah. And that makes us way more attractive as a project mm -hmm. to get better distribution. When, when you, uh, it's one thing to produce content. It's another thing when you have a, a, a good, warm, connected market that's waiting for your content to be produced. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it, we are going to have uh, the, the more support we get from the profession, 
the, the better distribution we're going to have. Mm -hmm. And then that's also, as we do this, as we go through each stage, we want to continue to build <clears throat> the, um, <clears throat> pardon me, the, uh, the functional relationship we have with these groups. So, you know, we are going to be able, this isn't just about producing a film and then we're done. This is one, a, an important cornerstone to so many more projects we want to do with these organizations that we are connecting with. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and this has the potential to help fund those operations from DVD sales and, and through contractual you know, distribution of this film, um, that can give us the working capital that we need to work with other organizations to do the, the many, many things. So you know, we want to reach the public, other healthcare professionals, and health policymakers. Mm -hmm. But it's not just about getting them excited about acupuncture, that's just phase one to get them interested in you know, taking part or to, to take the next step. We don't wanna just stir up interest, we wanna be able to then plug people in to where they need to be plugged into. So when people are interested in acupuncture, we will be able to get them referred into practitioners' offices. Yeah. You see what I mean? Because yeah. we have the connections, we're already starting to build how to find an acupuncturist in the United States uh, in, in, in the UK, uh, in Canada, we need to flush out those referral systems, mm -hmm. right? That's where we need our partners to work with us. So when somebody in Germany or, uh, or in Norway or wherever, you know, see this film and they want to, uh, get connected to an acupuncturist, we'll be able to connect them to them. Yeah. When healthcare professionals see this and say, Hey, I've got patients with that problem. Um, I would like to know more about how do I work with acupuncturists. We want to have those resources to plug those healthcare professionals to give them the information they need to take action, right? And the same thing with health policymakers and decision makers like hospital administrators and, uh, and, and people that run third-party payment systems, mm -hmm. whether it's government or private insurance. When they see this film and say, wow, acupuncture can do that, I'm interested in how do I find out more information? We want to be there with that information. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about stirring up interest. It's about first stirring up interest and then being able to, uh, to act on a call to action. Mm -hmm. here's, here's something you didn't know about this now that you're interested. How do you take the next step to actually get involved with it? whether it's the public, other healthcare professionals, or health policymakers. That's all part of the ANF goal that we have with this, working with our partners, these other organizations and practitioners in these different countries. And people can see how, how, how excited you are about that and, and how passionate you are about the subject. And I really, I've, I've been plugging it on our, on our social media and right. just trying to get the word out there. I see that there's donations from the UK as well. There's a few from here from Ireland. I really, right. really would like, I'll leave the links down below so people can go and check it out more. And then please, yeah, help because everyone, everyone watching this that thinks, oh, well, but I'm only, you know, I'm too far away or no, 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 everyone, everyone just, just contribute and just help because it is, it is really going to make a difference from, for what you were saying from that point of view of the misinformation. Anything, anything else that, that you can pass on to uh, members of the public and even other acupuncturists here in Ireland, apart from going on the website and, and, and helping out any right. reward for anyone, just go for it. Well, I, 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 I really hope people will uh, visit our website regularly. Mm. Um, we're, we're going to be, we, you know, we're, we've done a lot of work with it. We're actually going to be revamping it now uh, to make, we're we we're going to be putting up a lot more information, a lot more research, and that sort of information. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna make it easier for people to find that. But uh, you know, another reason that it's so important uh, to get as much traffic as we can to our website is that um, one more piece of the puzzle here that uh, I'm, 
happy you gave me a last chance to talk about something is um, when we talk about the acupuncture community, of course, there is the acupuncturist and there, there's also the acupuncture patients, people that have benefited from acupuncture. Mm -hmm. uh, they can all be uh, supportive of, of communications campaigns, you know, getting education out there. But another piece of the puzzle is the, the acupuncture suppliers, the people, who, the companies who uh, rely on acupuncturists buying their goods and services. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're reaching out to them trying to get them to support the a and uh, you know, efforts and all of our, you know, things that we're doing of trying to educate people because, you know, it's like the rising tide, you know, lifts all boats that uh, if, if we help acupuncturists be more successful, then they're going to be buying more supplies, you know, goods and services from these companies. So we're trying to help these companies to realize that when we say that we believe we can double and maybe even triple the number of people seeking acupuncture in many areas in, in the next few years, that's an investment for them. So we're trying to get them to do more to support us. But one of the things that will help us the most to convince these suppliers to support us is if they see broad uh, support from us from the acupuncture community which, who are their clients, you know, their, their, their customers. So if we can turn around and show suppliers that we're getting thousands of hits a day to our website, right? That right there will allow us to ha have, to be more likely to get support yeah. from these suppliers. Yeah. So, um, like one thing, just a quick kind of thing. This is this is really for the U.S. market, but because Acupuncture Now Foundation is a, a charity under U.S. law, um, you know we can people can designate us as a as their charity for the Amazon Smile program, right? Which means it's only one half of one percent. But again, if if acupuncturists tell their patients and they tell their family and the things, so you know this is where if we get if we get our numbers up, it's there's strength in numbers. And um, so just coming to our site, just going through our site, there's, you know, there's a lot of useful information there, especially the information we're going to put up in response to the nice situation. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we, the, the video that I mentioned that we produce the twice as effective and safer we put that out. We have the codes out there. People can put that on their websites. Right, yeah. Organizations, if they would like to, you know, these are animated videos. If they would like to redub those videos in another language or with another accent, yeah. or they want to change some things about them, of course, we're very happy to work with people to do that. There is, there is a lot of resources that we already have on our website. So, you know, we try to look for these ways to say, uh, win-win situations, the more people go to our website, the more they make use of the materials there. We also did a great recording with Kath Berry that uh, was the, um, you know, an acupuncture professional for uh, the iTunes um, sort of podcast that, that is, you know, discussing about, th this is for the general public. Uh, people can, you know, can get links to those things to where mm -hmm. they can make use of all that. But if we get our website getting a lot of traffic, that right there, again, makes it so we don't have to come to the acupuncture community to ask for donations and things like this. So again, where there's a will, there's a way. I, I hope people will really start to make more use of our website. Doing that will help us to, um, to reach all the goals that is going to be for everybody's good. Yeah. Listen, Matthew, it's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it as well. The, uh, I hope everyone watching this enjoyed it too. As, as an acupuncturist, because of the amount of work that you all do, thank you so, so much. And as a friend, I can't wait for that next time of, uh, of just listening to you. It's just always a big, big pleasure. So thank you so, so much for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, you're very welcome. And again, everybody, contact the ANF. Any questions, any issues you have, please, we're here to, to solve all the, all the problems we can solve. And the more you help us, the more we'll be able to give back. True. Thank you very much, Matthew. Thank you. Bye, everybody.
Oh, baloney. The whole thing always gets back to drugs. 